Hey folks, welcome back. Okay, so um, we are now on round 47. This is episode 16, I think. And yeah, we I'm just opening on the Empire dashboard so you can have a quick look at where we're at. Um, we are currently loved pop in our popularity. So we're really popular. Well, we're popular with the people, with workers, with soldiers and with leaders, relatively speaking. Uh, we Word score is truthful. Um, we, we're racing up the tech levels and the admin levels as well. If you look at us compared to our only you know the only people that we can see so far we do, we're doing pretty good um we're almost on the same tech le tech level uh that's 4.86 7 for admin uh we're nearly 7 and 4.26 so we're we're trailing a little bit this is always the way that it is with me and and um i mean it's funny i usually go with mind and i still seem to trail a little bit when it comes to technology on these kind of games so there yeah, we're not doing too bad let's have a look at the history So, uh, yeah, this is just Varot moving around. And we were attacked here by rifle militia. We lost 100 troops, rifle twos. That was it. Okay, uh, right. Let me show you something. I've noticed that down in this corner, we've... Uh, look, Varot have been pushed back. I don't know what's going on here. Something's happened and these guys have moved. I think there must be... Um, must be a lot either lots of raiders or something happened because they were right down here if you remember they seem to have either that or they just came out in a sort of you know kind of like this right oops where is my pen tool so they must have come down like this and then you know you had some enemy come that way i don't know something like that so uh yeah i'm not, I'm not quite sure what was going on there anyway that does that does leave us with a little bit of a, a potential to to for troops to come in this way and Varot very likely will exploit that right they'll if the you know if we get if enemies push through this way then Varot will just come and sort of take this territory too and it's done this thing where it's kind of left a little square a little hex square like I don't like this I wish there was some way of that automatically disappearing it's because you have to manually send a unit into although bearing in mind though this is representing a very very large area right so there's a, there's kind of a reason why it does that I guess these hexes are huge and you know it's probably an area the size of the uk <laughs> i think that's basically what's going on so it's not so easy as just you know closing it off actually you've got to send troops in there to go and do that job for you okay i'm just moving stuff around let's uh, let's get these guys back up here um without really meaning to i've kind of just sort of moved everything first what is this exotic hotel oh it's a luxury brothel okay i sure we've had one of those already one around here somewhere, wasn't there? Anyway, um, let's yeah, let's move our troops down a little bit. Let's get everyone in supply. I'm more bothered about keeping in supply and not losing troops as I am about a mad mad rush to the poles. I don't think there's going to be a huge amount of stuff down there anyway. I don't really, I don't remember there being a lot of metal in those areas. Um, okay, let's have a look at the vidcom. So. Well, in one turn, we're going to end, we're exiting the time of confidence, and we'll see what horrors await us in the next epoch. Um, and we have support faction, send special operatives to support foreign faction. Okay, so yeah, we've we've actually got the um, the spy council up now. S uh, new director for the secret service council. Right, we're going to put in uh, Paul Fanarchis, Right now, Ada Klein. Yeah, she's got twenty six on covert ops, but I don't think she's. It's saying she's suitable. She's not not in the long term. Let's get rid of Glenn Cooper. Let's get Paul Fanarchis in there. So he's going to be happy because he's he's upgraded his job. Secret Service Council task priorities. Um, I think we want spying operations probably at the moment, mostly, and internal security uh, policies as well. I'm not so bothered about active field operations. We might want that later. Uh, independent lab discovered in Vice. Oh, this is good. So we can gain 100 research bonus points or... Uh, we can scrap it and we can get 35 political points. Uh, yeah, so it's basically short gain for long-term gain. I, I usually go with long-term gain on these things, to be honest. So let's ask the science uh, scientists to share their work with us. So that's 100 research bonus points. I think I'm gonna I want that. And it seems like uh, the uh, this these group as well, the Merchant Society, they're happy with that too. So let's let's um, put a feather in their cap there. No, I don't want to upgrade that anyway, even if I had the political points. Now, Ada Klein, she might be okay, actually, as a... 
Uh, she's not a very good war leader. Um, these guys are both really bad. Let's recruit a military troop. Uh, military. Uh, well, where's the talent? Oh, there we go. There's yeah. He's tw that's twenty seven. We can't afford that. Let's just recruit um, recruit military. See what we can get out of that. Harry Collins. Capacity one. Yeah, Ada Colleen would probably be better than that, I think. Mind you, she's War 13. That's not so good. He's War 29. Let's get him in there. Okay. Now it's time to start moving some units around. So, uh, we've got to be a little... Like, we're, running, we're running out of supplies. Let's get these guys back into where, into a place where they can actually pick up. Now... Just remind myself of what we're building. Okay, but that mine's gone up now, finally. Have we actually been seeing the benefits of that yet? Yeah, 182. Yeah, that looks about right. Although that will drop soon because we are gonna we are burning through the uh, the scrap that we've got in the uh, in the scavenging sites. So yeah, we are we're going to be getting 250 metal a turn from the next turn onwards. Why am I talking about this? Okay, the reason why I'm talking about this is because I'm wondering whether I can afford to build some more infrastructure roads out, and I think I can. So let's do that. Let's get a dirt road out this way. Yeah, I think that's okay. That's going to allow us to continue expanding out. Try and get some of these mountains. We don't want to go too far there. Let's get some more roads up this way if we're going to start thinking about going that way. So, yeah, we want we want these guys in supply. Okay, that's looking get that's looking better. Um, now, make sure that we've got all this sort of. Um, so we do, we only want to be taking pull points up this way. That's looking good to me. Yeah, we, we haven't got any more industrial points. So I think what I'll do is, we're not building anything this turn now. Um, I might just wait one turn and then, you know, get some more industrial points in the bank. And then we'll start building something else. I think I might just use those last few industrial points on building some ammunition. Oops, I meant 300. Is that right? Yeah, 300 is what I wanted. There we go. Sorry, I was just, I was looking at that and I kind of started spacing out thinking, hang on, what am I doing here? No, I do want ammo. Um, okay, so there we go. We're not building anything this turn. Everything else looks pretty good. We probably could put some colonists into one of our towns. Vice is probably going to need some more uh, some more workers. Okay, the jobs were cancelled. What are they going to need for the uh, metal mine? Yeah, there's only 100 workers in the mine. Okay, that's interesting. Might be okay there. That said, yeah, do we want any more here? Maybe not. I think generally speaking, you want to spend your colonists as you get them. Let's just send let's send 50% uh, of the pot one way and 50% the other. So Understood. let's send some to that one there. And um, we'll send this one to uh, Vicer instead. Uh, just to maximise the natural natu uh, natural growth that we're going to get. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Are we still making... Yeah, we're still getting people here as well. So, this town is never going to... We're never going to get to the highest level. Although, I don't think I ever have in a game. Because I, I tend to build zones rather than co concentrate everything into one. Um, I might try that one. I might try and just sort of have one mega city one time. Because I know a lot of people swear by that kind of strategy. I think that's probably how people have been playing multiplayer, maybe. But I, I kind of like, and I'm guessing there. But I, I, I like to have more zones. Cause I just think it's more interesting to manage multiple zones. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna roll the turn onto the next one. Okay, we're back, and it's on round forty-eight. 
Let's have a quick look at the history as usual. Uh, we were attacked here uh, by some non-aligned forces and they lost 500 troops. Everything else pretty much there. Again, we were attacked here. We lost. Uh, they lost 200 troops. So yeah, we didn't lose any troops at all that turn. Um, let's have a look at the VidCom. Okay, the new zeitgeist wanders through the land. Decade of fanaticism. Uh, this is a long one. So look, it just takes 19 turns for this one to come into uh, full force. Uh, high meritocracy profile will help diminish the effects. So that's good because we are high in meritocracy. That's not going to be too bad for us. Your profile commerce is at 49 points. Higher or equal to the promise 49 points promised to the Merchant Society. So we've made a promise there. Uh, we've gained joint struggle and bureaucracy. And we'll have a look at those in a moment. And uh, civilization has level, risen to level 5. And we've got a bunch of fate stratagems as well. So there we go. There's our fate stratagems we got. And we're starting to get some of these... Um, Espionage Council, you know, Secret Service uh, cards coming in. So you'll see with Spy Team, this kind of stuff. Okay. So, um, there are no decisions this turn, by the looks of it, which is interesting. So let's get straight on with the with manoeuvring, I think. Oh no, first what I want to do is let's have a look at the uh, profiles that we just gained. So we gained Bureaucracy, which is a government profile. This is a good one. This gives us a 40% bureaucratic bonus. This is really important to get. Um, we've still got a chance of getting um, this wealthy friends from commerce, but we don't, I'm not that bothered about that now. I, w I don't want to lose the population happiness bonus that we've got from opportunism. And free market's also useful. So I, I need to keep these kind of balanced now if I can. It might even be nice to, uh, to get this tax bonus that we get from uh, enforcement. So yeah, that's one thing that we can probably go for. Keeping them balanced is more difficult than it looks though. Uh, you know, for example, I'd quite like engaged politicians, which gives you the political bonus of 40% for a democracy. The problem is we have to, we'd have to drop down out of meritocracy a little bit to do that. So that's easier to do um, because uh, democracy is pretty, it's pretty simple to, uh, to climb. All right, let's start moving some of these troops out. Um, let's get a road out down here. Okay, which is going to allow us to move further down to this, in this direction. Yeah, we're going to be, uh, we're spending money on roads this turn, unfortunately. It's not usually how I want to be spending um spending my industrial points but we've got to take as much territory as we can as early as possible as i keep saying all right that's that done um, on that side at least. Let's get these militia back up here. That looks okay to me. Now we just need to get some... Ah, oh, hold on. What's happening? There we are. Those guys are well out of supply, so let's bring them back up. Um, we don't want them being attacked if they're out of supply, because they're going to they're gonna have a, a, a hit to their readiness. Actually, these guys aren't too bad. These, these guys... Look, yeah, they're really low on food. On food, um, so hopefully, they, I don't know if they did. They actually lose anyone there. Um, we can look. This is the first, isn't it? It's organization. Uh, sorry, HQs. This machine gun. No, I don't think we lost anyone by the looks of it. Okay, uh, let's carry on moving. Let's cut these guys off. Now they might go up this way and try and cut us off that way. Certainly possible. I think not though. I think they're probably going to go that way. And it's hard to say. Sometimes they just kind of charge out into your into your territory and just completely mess themselves up. Uh, okay, that's 
yeah, again, I think this is going to be a short turn. There's not really much else we can do. There were no... I mean, we have got... We we could probably play some cards. Let's just see... Let's have a bit of a strategic powwow. Just between you and me. So, where do we want to be going? We, we still want to be pushing out this direction. We, we've got Schwarzmark. We seem to be pushing forwards. What's this here? Is that Schwarzmark? It is, yeah. Let's just have a look on this on the map. Okay, so this is non line forces. Wait. It's saying this is, but I don't think that's true. I think this must be the border of... Yeah, this is Schwarzmark here, look. Okay, so we're actually... We're not that far away from um, another... I wonder if we can get... Can we actually get anyone in there? From another major. I wonder if we can get somebody in there, though. Let's get... See if we can get a spy team in there. Will it allow us yet? Yes. Difficulty's high, though. Uh, what about just a single spy? Difficulty's high. Mind you, this guy's not very good yet. That's why. Oh, no, hang on a minute. Um, let's play a shadow espionage on him. That's... Because he's probably not going to... Oh, mind you, what does he need? He needs 50, uh, 55. So the odds are against us. If we play a Shadow Spy on him, that might work. I don't think he can... Maybe he can't play it on himself. Or maybe I've just not selected him. There we go. Okay, so we've got a Shadow Spy on him. I'm going to use that now. To, I might be able to get a uh, Spy team in. Oh, we failed. That's unlucky. We've got a really bad look, big bad roll there. Um, oh, look at this. Difficulty is 89. We rolled 80. <laughs> Absolutely dreadful. One more critical failure. What? Oh. Okay, so they're not happy with us now because they caught the spy. Um, so we've lost some points with us. I mean, it's all a political points. Uh, that was a real bad bunch of dice rolls, but, you know, such is life. Okay, I will catch you in the next turn. Okay, guys, we're on round 49. This looks like it's going to be another relatively quick round, I think. Uh, let's have a look what happened. Okay, uh, these guys are trying to break out this pocket. They failed. They lost a couple of hundred troops in the process. Um, 400 troops threw themselves against our GR-grade lasers and failed, uh, which looks like somebody's trying to surround us. And we did lose 100 troops there. We took 400 um, casualties against our opponent in return. Okay, so uh, that was pretty simple. We're in the decade of fanaticism. We discovered light tank. That's a big thing. We've also uh, discovered combat armor. Um, we got admin level rate uh, was risen to seven. We got another fate stratagem pack, including uh, credits. So that's going to be useful. And uh, yeah, like just a bunch of cards as usual. So um, we seem to be very, very low on political points. This is not good. I think what we're going to have to do is increase the size of our high command. I should have done this a while ago. Let's get it done. It needs to be done. Um, the, this is basically where you get your political points bonus from. So let's build this. High command, it's going to take four rounds. Um, and it's going to be cheaper in people than it will be for the bureaucratic officers three. But I think we need more political points. It's really important. Uh, we can get the... The other thing that we could go for is the hospital. Yes, health is... Look, health is a bit of an issue. Uh, maybe go for the... Maybe the hospital should come first. Yes, two rounds. I think I'll do that. Let's get the hospital up first. Uh, I'll just quickly check these other, these other cities. I haven't really been paying too much attention to them. Yeah, they're not... They, um, these got, these, both these places need their own food production. Uh, we are actually going backwards in food a little bit. Um, I think it might be better to get Vysa to actually build its own food. Now, um, I might have to temporarily put this this drastic expansion on hold because I can't keep affording to spend all my money... All my industrial points, sorry, on on fuel. Uh, oh, sorry, on roads. So what I'm going to do is let's get these guys encircled. I wonder if we can actually take them out with what we've got here. Let's have a go. We might be able to get them in one go. Now, our readiness was a little bit low on some of these. No, I don't think we're going to make it. I oh, lost a few troops as well there. Okay, all right, but we did manage to whittle them down. We also dropped their um, their readiness right down into the gutter. So next turn we should be able to uh, capitalize on that and finish. 
So, okay, that, that will be something that's useful to do. Every time we take out one of these units, it's it's a bonus to us, really. Uh, we've just uncovered Hidden Deep. What's that? That is a Hermit's Cave. It gives you Governor experience. That's actually pretty good. Okay, I'm, not, I'm pleased with that. And we're just going to move into these mountains to, uh, gradually and just try and try and roll some of these back here. I think these I think we need to take these guys though in a different direction. So let's go and find somewhere a little bit more useful to put them. Okay, uh Vice, by the way, needs probably needs a something there. Let's get Should we get an independent machine gun battalion? No, let's get a, a just an infantry battalion on there, I think. Just so that we've got something there in case there's a riot. I mean, at the moment, uh, yeah, workers, it's the workers that are struggling a little bit. Everyone else seems okay. I think, uh, yeah, it's the quality of life is not very good. They're living in barbaric conditions, which isn't um, which isn't ideal for them. Okay, uh, let's start moving some of these troops. These guys are getting outmaneuvered. I need to figure out what's, what it is that's pushing them back. Let's get these militia trucks up here. I don't want to be splitting these this group up too much. Now we've got two. Let's. I. I. I'm like overextending myself. I feel. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start bringing these guys back. I do want to push down as far as my um, logistics will allow me to, but then let's start getting these troops kind of back over this direction, and so that we can start taking. I, I want to. I need to kind of counter the this rapid expansion of Varot as well. Although they seem to have stopped up here. It might be that they were pushing out as far as they could, got stimmied, and then kind of moved back to kind of some pick some of these areas up. All right. Um, yeah, like I said, this was going to be a relatively short turn. Let's have a look at the decisions. Supreme Command, uh, Command Council Task Priorities. Now we've got this, wo uh, this woman in here. She's going to start picking up skills at um, High Command very, very fast, I think. Uh, so administration, she's getting uh, diplomacy. She's going to get some good skills going in here. So I think that um, political power is going to go up, particularly once we get the other thing. However, I think I'll probably put a little bit more into uh, into PP production. We need the biggest PP prop uh, possible. <laughs> so research, I think now probably needs to go high because let's have a look. Rocketry would be useful, but um, side skirts and gas-powered small arms would also be useful, but we've got the main things we want at the moment. I think what we want to do now is pick up on combat armor and RPG, high-speed machine gun. Yeah, those are the ones. Combat armor is probably the best, so let's go. Let's put it into research. And we're going to put 90% 90, 90 of it into research. Let's just see what they're actually researching at the moment. They're researching radiation filters. I just don't care about that. Um, let's go to research and we're going to swap that to um, combat armor, I think. And then I'll go for high speed machine gun. Okay, um, political points we're going to save. Money, we are still going backwards, but we're not going backwards that fast. Uh, we've got 128 credits negative cash flow. That's not too bad. Now, yeah, um, we need to start getting infrastructure up now. So we're going to get a hospital here. The hospital is going to take us, let me have a look, yeah, 100 industrial points per turn, so we probably can't start building anything else. Uh, I'm just going to leave that there. I think after that, what we get, oh, we got a bike to move. I was a little bit premature there, so let's just bring these back a little. Yeah, something like that. Um... Yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to just hold back on the on the rapid expansion just for the time being. I would like to get this. This would be great if I can do it. The problem is getting through here. It's going to be expensive, but being able to take a volcano is actually pretty important. Like that would be worth you. That would be worth putting a zone on. I'd say. And um, look, these guys aren't here yet, but I think uh, we we will fall we'll fall behind on our infrastructure if we're not careful. I might just get a bureaucratic office up here. So let's get the bureaucratic office up on on this one. I'm just going to start uh, cutting some of these supply. Uh, yeah, so we we we, want, we we don't want to be sending like 
you know, excessive, excessive uh, political uh, logistics points out into places we don't really need them. I might just get this road just down a little bit further this way. There we go. Just so that we've got these troops who weren't in supply uh, sat there, actually picking up supply this time. Okay, look at this big glacier. <laughs> some interest. It's kind of an interesting map. I like how there are some there are some mountain ranges in it as well. Um, I picked it so there were some decent mountain ranges. I just I just picked um, a very flat area to actually start in. Well, well, I didn't pick it. I was I was kind of throwing that. Okay, I will uh, roll the turn on and then I will catch you in round. This is going to be the last turn for this episode, I think, guys. Round fifty. Uh, we're half. Well, we're about a third of the way through the game, I expect. So um, let's have a look. Step. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about now. I've been awake a while. Uh, we lost 200 riders, so we were attacked there and, and we lost motorcycles. Fortunately, they're very, very cheap to replace. We discovered rare metal deposits. Thank God. <laughs> Kirkwall. Uh, we're entering a decade of, decade of fanaticism. Yep, we know that already. We found 200 um, machine GR grade machine guns, uh, Galactic Republic machine gunners, and uh, yeah, a bunch of cards. Okay. Let's just have a look at the uh, urgent issues. We're, we're going backwards in money still, so we need to do something about money this turn. Um, we, uh, we've we only got one decision, which is the interior task, uh, the interior council task priorities. Uh, I might just take up Pataris just a touch. It's a taxation priority uh, that I really wanted, and I've kind of sorted that out to some extent now. So let's start like evening that one out a little bit. Okay, again, this is going to be a relatively fast turn, I think. Now, this is where we lost some troops. I need to get these bikers back. We're not getting as many um, as many logistics out as I think as, as I'd like either. For, look, here's where we found those resources. We're going to want those. I think we, we want to try and get out, those out as quickly as possible. Um, let's get these guys back into pickup range as much as possible now, I think. Yeah, I, I don't think I need this area. I think it's, I'd kind of like, I'd rather, I'd rather deal with the threats that we've got. So, get these gunners out. I'm bringing those militia back. They're not much use for anything now. Um, we've got some colonists that we can bang into one of the colonies. Let me th we'll do that in a minute. Let's just finish the uh, rest of the movements. I'm getting ahead of myself. So those are the machine gunners we picked up, I think. Um, let's get these bikers down this way. Uh, these guys didn't get much in the way of supplies, I'm afraid. That said, I think that readiness-wise, they should be okay. Look, we're mostly... Oh, mind you. They're not very ready. They're not very ready. I think I'd want the bu buggy, so let's, let's leave out the ones that were looking like they might actually get really slaughtered. Okay, there we go. We didn't lose anyone by the looks of it. Great job, guys. So that's um, some more barbarians defeated. Okay. So we just got a little bit more territory to, um, expanded. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, let's get um, what we're saying in these cities here. Now, we're building bureaucratic offices. We need some more... We need some more uh, workers in there by the looks of it. How many are we down? Um, was... Oh yeah, okay, sorry. We needed, so we need 400 there and we needed 220. So 400 plus 900 is uh, 1300. Yes, and the more the better really. Oh, and uh, yeah, we need another 600 here. That's about all I got. Yes, sir. Okay, and what about uh, Corona? Corona's looking okay. We've got plenty of logistics, so let's just let's just send the rest of Pop. Yes, sir. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, that's about that's us about done, I think. Um, 
Now, what can, it's going to be difficult for us to get any more troops, any more um, supplies down here. I think we're going to, what we're going to have to do now is get another, another truck station up, I think. So, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. Um, how's about so we get a zone here? Mind you, that's going to be expensive to get. Going to be expensive to get a road in there. It would be nicely defensible though. Mind you, it's high mountains. Um, that's a little bit close. Let's get a zone here, and we'll put up a. Yeah, we we're probably building a little bit too much. But I really, 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 really need to be able to get some more logistics down here. Um, we could upgrade the supply base. I think I'll wait. Let me just remind myself what we're building. We're building that hospital and we're building bureaucratic offices. That will come, probably come up next turn. Let's wait until the, let's wait until the following turn. Um, and just we just accept that we're going to have to wait a little while. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the way to do it. Okay, I'm going to end the episode there. So that's the end of episode 16, I think. And I shall catch you next time. Let me know what you think about the series in the comments below, guys. Um, I'm, by the way, I'm I'm doing that because I really genuinely want to know. I'm not. I kind of don't like all this. Hey guys, like and subscribe because I just find it really cheesy and just it. Like then nothing puts me off a video more than when you hear people begging for you to subscribe. So I'm not going to do that. Um, but I am genuinely interested in knowing what you think about the series. I don't want to be playing something if, think, if people think it's deadly boring. And I know I've got some people who just seem really, you know, they're very, very happy and excited for me to be playing. And I really, really appreciate it. I think it's great. Um, but obviously... I want it to be fun and you know so if you're if you're finding it a little bit slow if you'd rather have a map where there's like dead, tons of combat whatever you just let me know and you know I read all the comments and I you know I, I don't take any any criticism too personally so just let me know what you think and be honest okay guys catch you next time see you later